Hi guys, it's me again, and this right here is the Bluefin Copper Press Tool Kit from SupplyHouse.com. It cost $180, which seems like a pretty good value, compared to the electric ones, which are $2,000. Now, I bought this tool because I just replaced the water main shutoff valve to the house, and like I replaced it a few months ago, and then these stucco contractors smashed the handle off to be funny. And now I have to do it again. Last time I replaced the valve, it took about 30 minutes for the water to drain before I could solder because the house is on a slope. I don't want to wait, so I've decided to buy this press tool. And looking at what it comes with, there is a manual. It says supplyhouse.com on the back, but let's take a look at it. Looks like we also got some C-clips in there. We'll see what, ooh, this C-clip just fell out with the manual. But looking at the manual itself, you can see it's got some instructions which are very important because if you don't deburr the tube and cut it square, you can cause problems, but I guess it's useful to read. <clears throat> now, we also have the tool itself. Let's get back to that. A wrench for calibration and jaws. Comes with half, three quarter, and one inch jaws. Now looking at the jaws, they are made of pretty precisely milled tool steel. And according to the documentation, they're heat treated, which is good. The tool itself is very heavy and it folds open like that. This thing opens, you have to get the tool open though. And then you can install the jaws. You just press back here and then slip each jaw in. Just like that. Pretty simple. Then you just close that and put this around a pipe, obviously, before closing. And then crimp. Just squeeze it like that until you feel it snap in place. Now, for larger sizes, you will need to extend the handles. They extend just by twisting and pulling. Now this brings me to the first problem with this tool. Look at how big these handles are. That's huge. Obviously you're not gonna be using this under the house or anything, but it's definitely handy for applications like mine where I would need to replace the house water main valve and the property line valve in the meter pit does not shut off all the way. Or, it does, or there's a lot of water in the line that needs to be drained, like in my case. So that's pretty much what it's meant for. It's not meant for tight spaces. But the head does rotate 360 degrees, which will help you get into some tighter spots. And the quality of the tool does feel very good. It's ah steel, and it does not feel cheap at all. And of course it's, from a somewhat reputable brand. I mean, Bluefin is the store brand of SupplyHouse.com, but I think the store brand from a proper supply house is a lot more trustable than some no-name Amazon brands. I've seen a lot of no-name tools on Amazon that look just like this one. But anyways, so now that we've had a basic look at the tool, let's test it out on some one-inch press fittings. So this right here is a press fitting. You can see it's got some O-rings in it which causes some controversy because shark bites seal off O-rings and you know those are junk, but the difference with this is instead of relying on some metal teeth to hold this on, it's literally deforming the pipe and the fitting to fit it on tightly. And it's got a rubber O-ring that's actually squeezed down on. So it's tightened down, which prevents it from leaking. The water company in their meter boxes uses pack joint fittings, which also use a rubber gasket. So now let's test it out on a scrap of one inch pipe. Now, unlike with solder where you can cut the pipe with whatever, you generally will want to use a proper tubing cutter when dealing with press fittings. I'm using my rigid constant swing cutter. It's pretty good, but there are cheaper cutters on the market that do the same job if you don't plan on using it very often. Once you have your pipe cut, you'll need to deburr it. I'm using a deburring tool here, which is meant for that. It costs about $10 and it cleans the inside and outside. If you don't clean the inside of the pipe, you're going to have turbulence, which will wear it down. If you don't clean the outside lip, you're going to have problems. 
Once you have the tubing prepared, you just stick it in the pipe fitting. And then here's a very important step you don't want to miss. What you have to make sure you press it in all the way. Then you're going to mark here to make sure that there is no risk of the pipe pulling out. If you mark it and the pipe pulls out, you'll see, and then you can redo it. Now let's press. So to start off, you have to open the tool fully like so, then press it over the fitting. Make sure it's aligned properly with this lip here. And now you just squeeze. Obviously, I'm not going to get much done without extending the handles. So you just twist and then pull out the handles. And then you can use more force. Ugh. This takes a lot of force to press. If you're not strong, I would not recommend buying this tool. Let's do the other one. Done. That was a bit easier than I anticipated. Now let's take a closer look at the finished joint. So as you can see, the grooves here have been pressed down fully. Well, they're not right really grooves, they're actually sticking out, but inside there's a groove. But either way, these O-ring holder things have been pressed down. You can see a little mark there, which lets you know it's been pressed. Let me zoom in on that. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see it when you look at it in person. As for the pipe itself, it's almost become like a hexagon there. And it has these indentations marked into it all around it. And that really makes it strong. It won't pull out or twist. Now that we've tested the press tool, let's try using it for a real plumbing repair. Unfortunately, I won't be able to film the repair because I don't want to distract myself while the water's off, but I'll show you when I'm done. So here is the pipe I repaired using my Bluefin press tool kit. I installed a new silicon bronze ball valve one inch with press male adapters on either end. This insulation I added not to protect against freezing. It doesn't freeze here in Southern California. It's so idiots don't bump the pipe and dent it. I don't think it'll do much, but won't hurt, I guess. And yeah, everything worked pretty well. The tool did take a lot of force as expected to crimp, but for $180, it paid for itself on its first use, so now it's free. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you all next time.